Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm going to talk about a little experience and share what we learned and some practice we, we work in this, in this small town, agricultural town in, back in Guatemala, which the name is Patsun. Patsun is located in the highlands in Guatemala. Guatemala is a tiny continent in North and Central America next to Mexico. Uh, talking about Guatemala, we have a 46 uh, percentage of population coming from Mayan roots, and the other, uh, the other 64 will be is uh, mixed, uh, coming from Sp Spain mainly and, and other European countries, and then we got mixed. Patun uh, is really a really small town, based in a Mayan ethnic et group called Cachiquel. Cachiquel is one of the 23. Mayan language we speak in this small area in Guatemala. And uh, in, this count, in this town, we have 90% of people who are uh, the native language is Cachiquel, and they also speak Spanish as a second language. We have also a huge percent of population living by agricultural products, mainly uh, beans, green beans, uh, uh, and another um, product we export mainly to the United States and also to, to urban cities in, across Central America. Another, another interesting thing, another fact that uh, I want you to, to share with you because it will be useful to understand the context is like four of ten men in Patsuna are living as legal or illegally as immigrants here in the United States, mainly in this side of uh, upstate New York, Canada, and especially there's a lot of people living in uh, this town called Mexico, near here. So there's, there's a lot of people. They come in in both ways. Why, why this is important for technology? Because it happened that immigrants here, they need to communicate with the families and uh, they start talking and using high, let's, let's call it high technology, but low cost technology to, to keep in track with the families. Even a small thing like family expenses that, uh, what I'm talking is they sending $100, $200 each week. And they want to know how they, the family there, wife, mom, the big clan of Latin family is expanding the, the, what they're sending. So what happened is the people start using a lot internet means getting a high, and business notice that, and they start selling a lot of smartphones and all kind of devices have special plans to call to US, as they do in Mexico, and, and I can say mainly all Latin America, but it happened in this town which is really inside the mountains, they, they have a high, high rate connectivity compared even to Guatemala City and compared to other neighbor, neighbor uh, towns around. So we notice this pattern, we call it the, the triangle of the immigrant, the IT immigrant, that, that's how we call it in Spanish, if I translate it from the Spanish. And what is that? It happened that it was this mayor, Mayor Khan Cax, that I'm going to share about. I, I don't want to focus in, in his political figure, but I, I just mentioned what happened with him. He noted that people were using a lot of chat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, to communicate with the relatives. So, for example, when, when we first start visiting them, they were saying, we, no, we, ne we need to know how people is posting, how, because they didn't understand how what, what's happening, how people is posting pictures of Empire State Building, and mom and dad here are somehow communicating and telling that we have problems here in the municipality. So what happened is because bad Sooners living here in the United States, they got the sense of the, this, com, this compliant, com, concern and uh, compliance culture that you 
had the right to ask the government to do something with your money. So they start complaining to directly from the United States to the municipality. Instead, but the rational and logic says to me as a urban living, living also in Guatemala, but why people just, they are two or four blocks from the municipality building, from the city hall. Why are they not going to approach the mayor and ask him? When he won the elections, he was using intensively Facebook, Twitter to, in, to get votes. But then, when he started running the office, he started getting his mayor full of complaints. We have water issues, we, we have public safety issues, we need this, we need, uh, uh, we need light, we need even, even education, all the bunch of problems that a local government as a, at the first window for government face. So it happened that if mom gets a problem with the water service, instead of going to the local government, she went to her son by Skype and telling, you know the mayor nothing, is doing nothing for us. Do you, can, you, do you can you please tell him? So when we start looking at the number, what is, what's happened is most of the visits and complaints were registered by Americans. Americans uh, email address, American IP addresses. So people from the United States were complaining about but soon it doesn't make sense for us. So that was one of the, of the, the main context of the, of the problem. So what the challenge we, f we, we face there? Okay, this mayor, as and, uh, I recognize he, his le leadership, he, he searched for help coming from us. Uh, our program, which what I leading, is a program to facilitate low-cost technology to a small local government. So he found us and uh, we start assessment what, what, what we can do and what it could be the best way to go and to, to get uh, citizens uh, participating and using the technology they were already using at home, but they were at the same time demanding to the local government to do something with technology, to lead. Because in, in Latin America, the municipality is really like the place when the society is coming around. We have in front the church, the market, and then the municipality. So it's the place where people want, and the municipality is a natural leader, and the mayor is actually reflecting that in that, in the small, especially in the small communities. So as usual, and it's, not, it's, a, it's a challenge we share with a lot of countries, we found with limited resources. No resources to have free smartphones for everybody or free tablets as maybe people were expecting during, due to the election embrace that Mayor did with, with social media. People were expecting he will be a technological kind of uh, Mayor giving devices to people. This didn't happen. When he faced the budgets, it was just $500 per year to the world department, IT department he, he got there. So what we did is we start with the, the equipment they have. We advise him to start. We, we're not doing nothing. We were just facilitating advising to implement the small actions. So wh which kind of action? People were using a lot of Skype to communicate with family to complain about the local government, so we open on Sundays and open whole virtual kind of thing. I, I don't know exactly the name we, they use there. It was more branded and political. But what is that is people in Patsun talking with their relatives and someone from the municipality telling them what it will be the action to do or what will be the step, the real step to do, what paperwork they need to fill out, what it will be, or if they, don't, or, or if they can do nothing of the lack of resources. What will happen is people here in, this, in Canada and the United States, but sooner they start organizing themselves to help the local government because they realize that they didn't have enough resources, not even the revenue tax was really low. So that was the first approach to get, to start doing things, small things, not buying any, any new, just the investment here is what just to increase the bandwidth of the internet because it was really slow. So we did that. And then 
there, uh, because of that, there was a lack of qualified human resources inside the municipal offices. So what we, we start doing is getting people into, into the local government, saying, OK, you know how to use Skype. You know how to do a Google Hangout. You know how to share you in Dropbox. So can, could you step into the municipality for an afternoon and teach to the municipality's offer, uh, officers so they, they learn and, and keep up date to new, to new tools. Also, we did the same thing with volunteer foreigners. So, for example, people coming for, uh, uh, for healthy reasons, for JICA, for United Nations volunteers, we invite them for short term periods, three, three or two days periods, to share something that is really used, uh, is really uh, in our daily life so far. For example, uh, setting up a WhatsApp uh, group for us being urban, it could be really easy. But for people, there is well, like something new, especially pe when I say people, is the municipal officers. So it was a, this gap between what citizens were using and municipal of officers were willing to deliver to, to citizens. So that, that, that uh, also helped with the raise of uh, awareness with it, exposing what they're doing. And it was also one challenge was the lack of support for central government, no any kind of strategy, not even funds for, we, we have a lot of challenge as, as everybody knows in Central America, especially with public uh, safety crime. We have the, uh, Honduras have the, has the, one of the most dangerous cities in the world. Besides, it's in Salvador capital and Guatemala capital. So it's really, that is a problem we, we need to face. But at the same time, the move is, the war is moving, moving towards. So it's moving and it's changing. We need to approach this kind of, this kind of solution, this type of, of things, uh, not concentrated. Because what is happening, central government's international cooperation is focusing only in the problem, which is public safety. So how to stop drugs? How, how to deal with the drugs trial coming from there to up? And well, you know the story. So what we start, start doing is expo getting support from international and media to export the case. What were they doing with a lack of resources? And what happened is central government saw the modern and said, I can get some political capital from that. It's like, they were from the same party, and I want to mention this because there's also a thing you, you need to deal with in working with government. They said, we can like, invite them as an event to have the model, what they're doing. They, they're using low-cost low technology. They partnership with international uh, organizations. So uh, what happened is because they were exposing and somehow endorsing some practices, they start replicating the model in other municipalities around, uh, not, uh, not only around Guatemala, because we did, as an international cooperation NGO, what we did, we also export the model to Colombia. And it's not like a, a receipt. It was just, look what they're doing. And they don't, they are, this community is uh, 53,000 people. They are agriculture. They don't even speak Spanish. And look what they're doing. So it was, it was that, that approach to, to challenge other, other bigger uh, or, and more wealthy uh, cities. It was this concern that uh, also came as a challenge. It was the culture. Because technology was there, uh, the sense of the, of the municipal officers, the council members, some of them, they were like, OK, you know technology is for people from the main city, for big cities. We are not there. We, we don't use videos. Why? Because we know each other here. Some of them, they were, that at the same time, it was young people buying for, for and I, I need to share this. For getting a smartphone, companies are getting them 72 monthly payments that you have. So, and we did a survive. And the first thing that young people is buying for the, in the first salary coming for agriculture is not helping mom to get the roof. 
is not for getting clean water, it's for buying an iPhone or a Samsung. So, yeah, and we can't stop it. So it's just happening. So we had to deal with that to get something for them. So now we have these systems when they alert on crisis, when they are shortage of energy or water, and people is using internet to, to keep on track citizens at the villages, what is happening in, in, in Patsum. So what this concern, what we did is we, we start letting people know more about the culture. And, and as we always said with them, we put Patsun in the map. So the concern about the culture, what we did, we take that concern and we put it into technology also to use technology as a bridge to let people know about more practical, to let people know more about the, the culture, what they do. And yeah, and, and regarding uh, implementations, what we did is the free internet access to community in the, in the market, in the main square. We also opened this, uh, what we call it, democracy zone, it's a transparency uh, hall that is a place you come as a citizen to ask something to the local government and they add, address you to the tools and they teach you how to do it online. If you need to fill out a form to pay taxes to the municipality, because what is happening in Guatemala, central government is doing the changes and they say, we're moving toward, towards to a digital payment tax system, but they don't tell the people how to do it. And then they, they find you because you don't know. And so what they're doing here in this transparency, this is are your the brand names. Don't pay attention too much to the brand name. But what they do, you can even ask how much is, um, is getting for salaries for each session, each council member. So the, what it's happened is start this dynamic of transparency because politicians there, they also notice and they got the awareness of, oh, this could be help me to get reelected, actually. And they told you that straightforward, like I, I can, I, I want to be the transparency guy in this town and I also, so what is also happening is people start knowing how to do everything and how the municipality was working inside. They start releasing all the steps to open. This, this one is all the steps to uh, opening a business. What it was, it was in a form. So we're saving like three or four steps. Like people is not going again to reach out the officer in charge to open a new business. They just go here if they can go to the municipality, or they, they just go online using the market. Even it could be in the market, it actually happened that people go to the market to buy something and then they say, I would like to open a, a, another store, small thing, informal here. And people are saying, no, it's better you to get formal because you, you're getting all the services, online services through the municipality. So it also helps to, to have a really stronger thing. And uh, something that it do, doesn't have too much precedence in Latin America, especially in my, in my area, is because the crime that I was mentioning, and if someone here from Latin America can say, like, having in the parks tablets and laptops is not a usual thing. You're always concerned it's going to be some safety uh, issue with that. So this is something that uh, we, all, uh, we also help to design and to get the strategy to implement. Uh, it was something that also I want to mention, the language. So as, as I said, the native language for them is Kachikan and the second language is Spanish. So it happened that two volunteers from a, an American university came and they said, oh, this is so cool, we want to do uh, the Facebook translation for Kachika. I, I, want, I, I want to, to show you because this is exciting. And it was this. And we were like, oh, our founders were so happy and it was so sexy. Like, wow, they have the first Facebook Mayan language thing. But what happened, in fact, people don't read anymore Kachikel. So no one cared. It was just like 16 likes. No one understood what it was written there because Kachikel is just a, a native language that you don't read anymore. They just speak it and hear it and understand it, of course. So 
that that was uh, and I come in for this so yeah maybe I, I getting up and, and then it was a lesson we learned that you had to take it into account your culture because even in my mindset is saying me okay yeah Facebook is a good idea and let's translate all the Facebook to Mayan language and then no one is really what we did instead of that after that failure oh let's go the lesson learned it's, it's better <laughs> uh, we opened something easier and free it was a YouTube channel and this is what's so successful I got the numbers here or YouTube channel, I said our because I was really into their, uh, the views is 423,000 views. Why? Because people is hearing what they saying and they, have, they are the first municipality in my country having rendering of account streamline. So there's people even saying what they, uh, they, and now they taping everything. They taping everything because they say, just in case, just in case, because the paper sometimes says something different, just in case, let's, let's upload it on YouTube. So this is, this are uh, changing, and it was in a really short time. Oh, yeah, there's another fax here. Uh, this is the, this is uh, attracting my, my eye, uh, 1,004, 400 citizens went to these small trainings. What I, when I say in the small trainings, I really mean small trainings. What happened in the, dynam the dynamic there is what like, I was here in the States and I say I want to communicate with my mom. So what I did, I go to Best, Best Buy and send her a fancy Apple, iPad. Then mom there, she doesn't know even to take out the plastic. So what municipality did is having like digital literacy for people how to use touch screens. Really easy. And maybe if, if, we're, if we're taking a look at the contents here, it will be like, you don't do that kind of, uh, of uh, courses of training, but on that end, but soon makes sense. So we start having when we change, because the first approach is was, it was also a lesson learned. The first approach, approach was, let's teach the Microsoft Word. Let's teach the Microsoft Excel. Didn't work, why? Why they want Microsoft Word? They, they don't write in letters anymore. They write in emails now. So we teach them that. So for a uh, 50,000 population, I think this, this is almost, almost, one percent, so it's it's huge. Yeah, as uh, as far for me, it's huge. And we open the and also we relate the culture with Picasso albums. We mo we move to Flirk, uh, yeah, in the, in the near future, I, I think. With a average of three three hundred seventy three views per picture, so it was a lot of things, and it generates a lot of dynamics, that, that story I love. I was trying to find the picture, I didn't, I didn't have time to do that, but there's this American court piece lady that came to Patsun in the 60s. So she was browsing about Patsun and she found this, this uh, album, and then what she did, she's keeping contact with the host family 40 years ago, and she went down again to meet them after 40 years. So this kind of dynamics and her, oh, what, it's happened again. <laughs> I was told to not touch the screen. Mm -hmm, okay. What happened is her daughter came as a volunteer also to Patsun. So the technology is open to them a lot of uh, new dynamics with, with technologies is not helping me now. <laughs> okay, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> also, we got, uh, and I put in this couple, couple of uh, pictures. Here's Mardokeo Kashka uh, lecturing World Bank, IDB. We invite UN. We invite all the international community in DC. So as people were posting on their Facebook, they, say, they were saying, they didn't, 
were too much aware what he was talking exactly about, but they were saying, thank you, Mayor, for putting Patsun on the map. So it was Google there, Oracle, people asking, why are you doing, how are you using, but they, at the end of the day, they they use, using their products, and we are aware of that, he's aware of that, people is also aware of that. So the sense of town really uh, rise and, and start some of uh, publications came out uh, talking about his, his uh, leadership. And also it happened, this is really interesting, I also want to share with you really fast this, this, also, this thing that happened. And in university back home, they noticed also, because people start recognizing Patsun as a digital town. They said the digital, they, they also call them hash Patsun. So like hash Patsun this, hash Patsun that. So one university, they, they having this program for a startup. So what they did using the Kakchikel culture and the Mayan culture, they developed this game. And the um, user acceptance test, I'm getting technical again, but the, the tests were running with kids from Patsun schools. And of course they gave it for free. And after that, people, someone knew at the, at the papers and said, let's give them, com actually, on that step, we got computers, we got new hardware, we got internet, because everybody wants to be sponsoring how the mindset of Mayans working in a game. So it was to, it, it, this, this kind of initiative led by the, go the in this, in this uh, product, it wasn't, the government was just taking actors, gathering them together to do something. So that happened with this, uh, this other game, which is already, I think they have the Android version only, uh, using, using all the, all the uh, experience they got and all the feedback they got for children from, from Patsun. Uh, as I went mentioned, this is all the places that Patsun has been sharing experiences, something that as I, uh, I also said, people are really proud in Patsun about that. It's also improved the way they dress in the, 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 national, the, cost, the national dress in, in Patsun. Why? Because they're receiving people. And uh, I want to mention something, like they made an exchange with Jordan. Why? Because in Jordan they have a similar situation with the local government, and it was something unthinkable, like five years ago, how Patsun, what? Patsun has to exchange with Jordan. And actually it happened, and uh, they have been invited to several places, so people is feeling this, they, as a, and we usually work with focus group with citizens, and they feel, because I asked them, how do you feel your mayor traveling abroad? He's going next week to Argentina, what do you feel about it? And they say, no, he's traveling because he's taking us to them. So there's a sense of community, like Patsun and the mayor as a political figure and the face of, of Patsun showing what they do in on regard to technology. Of course, they're still having a lot of, of, of uh, challenges. But yeah, it's, it's something that, uh, yeah, uh, we're setting up this goal for V20 with them. So, yeah, and it's also my shadow a hand I someone want to do something, we can raise the number with another countries here. Well, what we learned, uh, I have been mentioning this, but just to wrap it up, we need to have a strategy, but we don't need to find, to have or to come out with a really fancy, complicated strategy. It has to be something simple, simple and um, agile, and you can change. That, what, that's what we learn, addressing a real problem. So what was the problem? People demanding how to use technology, but they were demanding using IBM solutions. They were didn't care. They were just asking for a government to speak their language. It was social media, it was something easy with, with technology. Need to find uh, the diverse team not just, and thinking outside the box, not just your municipal officers. You need to get people from outside to refresh what you're doing. You need to, to get citizens. You need to get people from other urban areas 
to also similar places to, to get these teams and to set up this task force. That's what we did, like a kind of a star task force of, for, for approaching ICT. And start communicating. Communicating, even if it's something small, even if you open your Twitter account in your small government, only in your community, in your neighborhood, you need to, to communicate people that you're trying to do something. That we learn that for, from them. Oh, what's happened? Again? Okay. Okay. And don't think just about technology that I was mentioning if you're coming to Patsung as a volunteer for health, nutrition, we, we do have that problem also. You can also teach people to upload photos, to, to tape a, a small video, to tape a little scene with, uh, uh, to upload to Facebook, uh, how to deal with diarrhea. So you can, uh, technology can use it as a tool, not as technology itself. That, and also relying on you, international cooperation and academy, as I showed the, the, the game they develop. Uh, also, we also learned that the political buying, the, without the political buying, if, if you have a really wonderful, beautiful, brilliant idea, but you don't get on board your mayor, your council members, even if they don't like each other, even if they're fighting because the party, you need to get them in board, on board. But also you need, in this type of, this kind of small town, you need to keep it low cost. You don't need to spend taxpayers' money on buying uh, platforms on telling people, oh, this year we are spending on this CRM platform coming for SAP, all the technical the people, they don't care. People, they want solutions. People, they want opening their business fast. They want to know. To know. The people, what, what we notice, and I want to share also this with you, is that we notice people is not, is willing to, to deal with some problems with telling people we're not having electricity from three to five, people organize themselves. But you have to tell them. So you, you need to tell them. So while we were working really hard with them, is just tell the people you had the problem. Tell the people you don't have the budget for this year. Tell you think you don't want to approach them, tape a video and then share it on the social media and then do an open hall. So you're getting the bad news in a smooth way and getting people involved. Best practice exchange really work for us, so you don't know how to approach the problem, you go with another peer and tell them, you know, I don't, I don't have money. They will say, I don't have either. We are in crisis. But you can figure it out how, how to deal with, uh, with, uh, with problems and with innovation, actually. That's a, that's a way to go for us. And yeah, and I, I I will be more than happy to hear your questions, comments, or and uh, yeah, this is gracias in Spanish and my tios, which is I, I just know a little bit uh, catchically, uh, and this is also that I also is deserve attention that me myself personally I learned that the first step is learning the language, so uh, me I was having a hard time working in Patsum because my my native language is Spanish, not Kachiga. So that's for me as a, as a person and my professional life, I learned you want to work in the Mayan community, you learn something. You learn how to greet, you learn where they eat, you eat what they eat, so you get the sense of the community and you, then you can talk. So yeah, so Maltios, which is thank you.
Oh, oh, thank you for bringing this to the table. Yeah, I have an example to answer your question. Uh, they post once, we have in this, because they learn a lot of tools, so they learn AutoCAD to design the, the infrastructure things. So they post on Facebook and all the social media and the web page. We got the money for World Bank somewhere, I don't remember, to do this bridge, and it was the great, big picture and how it will look like and all stuff. So, and they said, we're hiring this company. Yeah, like that. Couple of, couple of days later, and people were liking, sharing, we, we, the, our town is growing up, facing the new millennium and stuff. Something happened, and did you notice this company is related with this council mem member, Tag, and and this other company, they did similar bridge with this 20 less percent cost. So it was for them, they called me on that situation and they said, we have a, what we learned, a social media crisis. I said, you don't have a social media crisis. You, you have a transparency, nepotism kind of thing. It's not, it's, that is not a social, uh, uh, and I don't know if you agree with me, but that is not a social media crisis. Social media crisis is, not, you post it on Facebook, but the problem, deeper problem is you need to change that contractor. So people is starting to get, and the next step they, they are asking because they learn from people, and that's for me the, the importance of internationalization and best practice. They learn in one session we host and we, we finance, finance actually, they learned from Colombia that a small town they were doing this participatory budget. So people now, they want, they, they want two things. They want the participatory budget, people we are organizing, social society. And also they learn from Miami Dave, they learn uh, my Go by Dia tool, which is you can submit your project and you can vote like it or not like it. So people now, they are pushing and I, for me, okay, democracy is a wide term, and you can get into that bag a lot of things, and, and, but for me, that is democracy, because people is getting into the dynamic and say, okay, I don't want to see the reports. Just show me whatever you want using technology, what you're doing with my money. Yeah, I think it helps on that, especially in transparency. I don't... I don't dare to say that we have an e-participation -particip environment yet, but we, we, we head in there with them. And uh, I also think that they, they getting kind of interest of, uh, on, on data, as we were talking in class, because they start asking municipalities, you must have a list of stores they, they also produce leather things, small leather things. So providers, they want to have the complete list and they have the, you need to ask a permission to a municipality to have a store. So they know municipalities having 
databases, databases with, with that kind of, uh, of uh, information. So, yeah, but we're waiting just to follow that, the same pattern you mentioned. We're waiting people to, to see what they're expecting, not following. It's happened that it's some, somehow that pattern is fitting the pattern that academy is telling us, but it's just happening. We, we're waiting for, yeah, but me, I think that it improves and it's getting easier for them to communicate, to, to keep the balance of what the people want and what the government actually, government actually can do with working with them. In Jay, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, how do you mean? Okay, that's what I do for a living. <laughs> like convince, yeah, it, it, takes, it takes long. Or, or approach to that is, yeah, and I, I, uh, I understand your question, knowing your background in Latin America, really hard to deal with politicians. So what we did, uh, being honest, we, we really used a lot of uh, our brand coming from my NGO is called International Republican Institute. So to get on board politicians and decision makers, what we did is to say, we come in with American money. So that opened wide their eyes, like, oh, yeah, they must come in with high tech IBM or they're giving apples to everybody, and the politician. And knowing Latin American politics, I don't, I don't want to, but that, that is a, a real fact that happened, especially in, in the small towns. Once we had them, it's like, you know, we're not get, you get 10, and you can maybe work with just 20% of them. So my, my advice or my experience, is not a, I don't dare to say advice, my experience of that is you work with 100 and you expect to get just 10. But these 10, will be deceived for the oil, but because it happened, like what we do to get them in board, we, we always set up each year a, a, a big submit, really fancy, that really with a lot of, of showcase and display. So, and of course, all of our politicians come in there, they saying, yeah, I want my city to be digital. I want my city to be smart. I want my city to be smarter than theirs. So, and at the end, we pick up, we start doing assessment, but then, and then we pick up 10, six. For example, in November, I come into to Colombia to have one. We're inviting 160, and our target is six cities. Because we, we know, we know it will be not. None of them, they have the environment, as you mentioned. None of them, they have the willingness. Some, they have the money, they don't have the willingness. Some of them, they are, are just afraid. Some of them, they, they told me, Cesar, you want, people to kill me on social media. I don't want that. I'm not getting, I thought it was, you're getting us internet uh, access. It's not that, as, as Ines mentioned, it's not the technology. But yeah, yeah, I appreciate your question because it's, the hard thing to do is to get the decision makers, to get, to get, get them these kind of solutions attractive to them. What, what is my win? But, from my point of view, I think here we got a win-win situation because as, as a mayor was using a lot for elections, especially Facebook, as you know, in Latin America, we're still using a lot of Facebook, but still, because it will be changed, I, I, I hope so. Um, and, uh, but just for elections and, and we start like, Doing, working a lot with capacity building, like changing how they look to that, because 
we were, uh, we used uh, neuromarketing to do that, by the way. So it was the picture of the mayor, and the uh, neuromarketing is this kind of glass that, that tracks your pupil, what you're, you're seeing, and, on the, and the reaction, also your, your neuro reactions. So the feeling for people when seeing the horrible picture with the flag and all the, the things for the politician is what like, and then we put together a picture for the municipality building, the city hall, and the, so we can show them mathematically, see, it's better for you, and you can put your picture like here, people will identify you as a mayor leading, not even ruling, leading this, this uh, town, but they are the facts. Which one do you want to use for your fan page? Your picture with the olio kind of uh, retouch thing, or this one, which is will be also you, but your brand is so it's, it's, it's complicated. That we spend a lot of effort, and that is the the when we are spending the money for our founders coming from coming from American American money on getting them on board that, it, and it's really modest and small and humble uh, outcomes, but uh, that is a really, really hard thing to do. But then you can, like, we have another program which is called Raising Stars, so we take them to share with other people around the world. So then you can capitalize these 10, six, four people, even if you spend, last submit, this was more than $1,000. $1, because we need to pay to get a politician in setting his account and moving to another Mexico city or any other Panama city, or any city, you need to pay him, his assistant, the advisor, the staff, tickets for everybody, a really nice hotel. And then you tell them, we're not, we have all this, but we're not giving you apples. So, yeah. Yeah, and that, that is the, the tricky and the hardest part. Thank you for for bringing that to the topic to the table because it's the hardest part to do. Uh, uh, coming from my experience in Latin America, and, uh, that's why we're sharing because maybe in other countries or other areas of the world is different. Can you just talk a little bit more about how you spend money on the infrastructure? Like how they can become a city that there's free Wi-Fi for everyone? Okay, we have them for the first year with 20% of the monthly payment and then they need to figure it out how to pay it. The town? The town. Like yeah. Town. Yeah, the town, the town. What happened is the taxi drivers were the one who pressure. That, that was kind of interesting because in the main square, taxi drivers, they park. So they were pressuring. We need to have the, because the, everybody knew. We use a lot of media to do that. Like IRA is paying 20% for this year to municipality of Patsum. So everybody knew that we, ending on, in 12 months. Then they were like, oh, I'm not getting any more money. But it makes sense because for taxi drivers, sometimes they just buy the smartphone, but they don't buy the data plan. So they need the, the data plan to, 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 to do business. So what they did is they organized and they said, okay, we're paying, like, they're paying a little, they helping the local government to pay. Like what they did while well, they raised a little bit the tax, uh, the, the tax uh, fee to park in the, something like that, and now they, uh, and people call this not democracy song or not municipality. They, when the last uh, focus group they did, the, the people in the park, they say the taxi, the taxi internet, because everybody knows. That is also transparency for me, like everybody knows that taxi drivers are helping municipality to pay for that service, even though it's just a small percent, I don't remember exactly how, how much it is, but, yeah, it's like this kind of thing that you have really small, small, uh, a small start up or pushing just a little bit the going. But because we learn also, and this is a good thing we got from the crisis in the developed world, and is they start, and you must know that uh, they start cutting down uh, grants, help, because they have our own problems, everybody does. So no more money just to giving people for 40 computers, brand new Dell computers. No, not that, they, that is not happen, happen, happening anymore. Especially in Central America after the war, 
everybody just lose interest. It's not, it's not a strategic anymore. So we need to figure it out. I, and for me, that is a good thing that happened because it drives us to think better, to spend better, not just to have a nice picture from the founder. That's, that's the thing. Thank you. Yeah. Well, they, we, 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 we were thinking about that, and uh, we tried to organize people or help them organize because we are not actually doing things. Because the municipality, by law, they cannot receive it. It has to be like donation, and it's really complicated in due to the law structure. But we can do that really easy to having or setting up a uh, citizen technology association that we're moving forward to something like that to have citizens getting money from some, some yeah it, it was some people uh, they can they a municipality can receive in kind in kind uh, donations like computers but sometimes it's not that you need uh, and yeah, we, we're trying to do that using citizens because the, we already have the, the alumni association that people who's, who's also volunteer to, to teach what they learn in the, the, in the community digital center. So we, what we or advice and we're working that on, on this year is uh, how to set up this association and then and give them a, a, a legal structure to receive money more formally and in a sustainable way like for not just for a small activity, maybe for like having this as a whole to get um, to get into into real action and also to keep a watchdog to the municipality if they change in authority. That is also a thing to consider. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, I think you get to a step aside the technical side of the things. What we did is, especially what that was really attracting to get people on board, like, as you said, we have in the council member, the average age is 60. So what was really attracting, and it, it, they told me that straight forward is what, like, Cesar, I don't know how that thing with the camera when I talk works, but I'm really happy that I saw my children. I haven't saw him like 20 years ago because he doesn't have papers in the United States. Now I, I, I get I get into the municipality community center every single Sunday to talk with him. And also, I want to learn how that works. It's like the telegraph or how. So yeah, yeah, because you have yeah, grandchildren. So that's so my my I uh, I come into if people see what is the benefit, they don't care what they learn the technology if they see the benefit. But if we tell in the, but you need to tell to talk to them in the languages, I, and I don't mean catchical. If you need to tell them. You don't approach them like oh please like this hashtag this share. But this is not that. You tell them, you're going to use social media to ask the local government why 
the health service sponsored by the, the municipality was closed and you were working two hours with your big basket and then it was closed or they didn't have medicine. So you can complain about that still working on in that and that is a really hard place to work, you, you trust me. It's a really high lands and the pressure is like living or it's almost a volcano. So when people learn that, they say, how, how, how can I do that? It's like pushing the, and they, people talk to you like that. It's like pushing, the, I don't want to be pushing since like my granddaughter, they are spending all the time. It's happened and we see the, that pattern, not only in Patsung, in Honduras, in El Salvador, people is, I, I want to learn how, how, how they, why they, sp they are overnight awake, doing something, <laughs> touching that thing, they get paid or what? <laughs> yeah? So, yeah, my, my, what I want to, to share is you need to focus on the outcomes of technology for each, and everybody's different. I maybe need to, to know the bus coming, if there are buses. If someone got killed on the street, which is the normal life in Central America, you know, you need, if you get in that, people, no matter if they age, but now, because this is getting so fast, of course, young people is getting on board easily. But yeah, and uh, we have, uh, we're going to talk later about the, the or Nob Hill friend, the, the lady, she's, she's uh, uh, uploading on Instagram to sell her cakes. That, that's, in a, that's a good example. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what what we did is we split all the complaints straight to the department. So we use the politician just as, and and you're completely right. The main concern when it comes to this kind of complaints and opening things is that I'm going to burn out my political figure and what about the re-election and my founders and you know. So yeah, what we did with then is okay. You you get in this and the strategy was to get into the neighborhoods with computers, with the democracy zone computers, so and the directors. So you don't, not, you don't get all people going to the, it's what's happening, that was the situation when he was looking for help. He was like, what can I do? I, I start getting really no, I, I, I cannot open just close after elections, close my email, close my Facebook, close my Twitter, close everything. What can I do now? If people is asking me to take action, so what we did, we split it on director of the inside uh, areas of the municipality. If you probably was with the education, the guy with the education bid all coming there to your neighborhood in person and also to fill out everything you need in the e-governance platform that the central government provide to everybody but don't tell them how to use it. So doing that, like, you know, mixing the personal approach that in this case is not that hard because you have only uh, 50,000 people. It has to be different in a big city, of course. But that's what they did here, like uh, approach in a personal tech so the follow-up is was using technology, but the first approach was personal and to don't burn out the, the political figure. That, that's the thing that is really afraid for me. And just for closing, Marta, you allow yeah, me? So this is also generated by this, by this initiative. I, I'm going to explain really fast why. This is the Mayan goddess for love. So what's happened is 
other people from a design academy in Guatemala City, which is two hours from Patsun, they sold this thing that the hash Patsun, the digital Patsun, and they said, oh, we can do something related with the Maya culture. They went there, and this is the, their creation, digital, digital art class. So they did it because they knew about the culture and uh, the technology engagement. So actually, it seems that it's a model from Batsuner, and they made this. And it was a, a world con contest. And they, they put it in the municipality, municipality uh, corridor, which is really, and it happened something interesting. Because of the, it, they had 30 years without painting the old building. Because the contest, because the, the pres university president and the ambassador of Spain and someone else came to the municipality, after 30 years they painted the, the building because of, of this thing that, that came out from the Facebook and social media. You know that, that I was uh, 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 trying to, to share this experience with you. It's something really simple. You know, and then people dynamics start working around one, one idea. Thank you.